Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to make this super cute puff stitch bag. So if you want to find out how to make it, then let's get into the video. You'll need a six millimeter crochet hook, some t-shirt yarn in the color of your choice, a darning needle, two metal rings, a chain, scissors, you'll need a stitch marker as well and also you'll need a bag clasp so you can get these from amazon ebay different places like that and you can get different kinds of ones start off we're going to make 24 chains so you're going to create your slip knot insert your hook and chain 24. So once you've got your 21 chains, we're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So insert your hook, single crochet. We're going to then single crochet again into the next stitch. And now we're going to chain one, skip this next stitch and go into the following stitch. And repeat that so two single crochets chain one skip a stitch we're going to repeat that to the end so i'm skipping a stitch now doing two single crochets one two chain one skip the next stitch and repeat that to the end okay so once you've done the first row we're going to chain three and turn. Chain three, turn. And now we're going to start doing puff stitch. So first of all, we want to single crochet into that chain one space. So that'll be one, two, and then single crochet in here. So it should now look something like this. So to start the puff stitch, we're going to do it in the base chain, so the very first stitch here. We're going to insert our hook into there. And then we're going to yarn over, pull the yarn through. Make sure you're very loose with your yarn. We're going to yarn over again. Insert the hook back into that same stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Still making sure you're keeping the tension loose. Yarn over again. Insert back into the same stitch. Does get a bit fiddly. So just take your time. Oh. So we're going to insert. Yarn over. Pull through making sure that we keep it loose. So pull your hook up. And now you should have six stitches on the hook. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So this will be our first puff stitch. So now you're going to yarn over and pull through the first five loops. So at the end you just want two and then we're going to yarn over and pull through the last two. We're now going to single crochet into the next chain space. So that'll be one, two, three, down below on the third. Single crochet, single crochet. And it should now look something like this. And we're going to do our puff stitch again. So we're going to do a puff stitch here, just below the first puff stitch. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, remembering to keep the tension loose. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over behind, pull through. Yarn over once more, insert your hook, 
yarn over in the back and pull through. Now you'll have six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're going to pull through the first five. Now you've got two left, yarn over, pull through the last two. And now we're going to single crochet again into the next chain one space. And you're going to repeat that until you reach the end. So it should start looking something like this. Okay, so so far it should look something like this with six puff stitches. So we're going to single crochet into the final stitch and do our final puff stitch. Once you've completed the first row, you'll have seven puff stitches. So you'll now chain three and turn. Okay, so you've chained three. We're going to skip the first stitch and single crochet into the next stitch. And we're going to now start doing our puff stitch again, but this time we're going to do each puff stitch into the stitch that it was first made. So you can see here, stitch there, the next one would be a stitch here. So we're going to insert our hook into the first puff stitch, yarn over and do our puff stitch as normal. Remember to pull up the hook, keeping the tension loose. Now we're going to skip this stitch and we're going to skip the next stitch and single crochet into that stitch. So one, two, three, single crochet in the third stitch. And that is our first puff stitch done on the second row. So to do the second one, you're going to look where the second puff stitch is and insert your hook into the top of that puff stitch. And then we're going to single crochet in the third stitch. So one, two, three, single crochet. And keep repeating that until the end. And that is pretty much how you do all of the puff stitches. So this is how your work should look so far. So we've got two rows of seven puff stitches each. You're gonna keep repeating this for another 13 rows. So in total, there'll be 15 rows. So once you've done you're 15 come back and we'll finish the rest okay so this is what it looks like now that we've done our 15 rows so we're going to start single crocheting around the edge and um, so you want to do you want to make a chain chain one and we're going to just start single crochet and we'll do two single crochets in each stitch along and this will just neaten up the edges. So we've done two single crochet crochets there. We'll go in here, two single crochets again. And we'll continue that. So when you get to the puff stitches, you want to go in the two and you want to do your two single crochets in here. So if you see along the edges, stitches, you'll do two single crochets there. And you'll continue that along the whole edge. Okay, so we've done our two single crochets along the long edge. So the first edge. When you get to the corner, you're going to do two single crochets, chain one, and then go back into that stitch just so 
it goes around the corner easily and then on the shorter edges we're going to just single crochet along do one single crochet in each when you get to the long edge again you're going to do the same as the first edge so two single crochets in each stitch and you're going to repeat that until you get back to the start Once you've reached your final corner you're going to make a slip stitch and you're going to fasten off and hide the yarn so just cut the yarn and then work it in and hide it So now we're going to be adding the metal detailing. So you're going to want to get your normal yarn. It's not the exact same colour, but you can't tell that much when it's on the metal. So we're going to put the clasp here in the middle, under the middle puff stitch. So that'll be the fourth one. And we're going to sew the metal on. Okay, once you've sewn it on, it should look like this. At the back, you're just going to tie a knot, just do a double knot, and then weave in the ends. Okay, so we've done the top one, and we're now going to add the bottom one. So, for this one, the little metal bits are too small to fit through. So what I do is I get some t-shirt yarn, I put the metal bit over the top, close the metal so that the yarn is stuck in there and I'm going to sew this on. Make sure it's pushed down nicely and now we'll sew this on. Okay so we've put them together, fold it over, it looks like this from the side, you probably want about an inch or so overlap. Wherever this lands is where you're going to um, sew it on. So for this one, the all we're going to do is put the, sew the yarn through and then do a knot at the back. So we've attached the clasp, so it should now just go in like this. 
So that's how it looks. We're going to do the edges now. And then after that, we just need to do a handle and add the chain. So we're nearly there. Get our t-shirt yarn, make a slip knot. And we are going to do five chains. We are now going to do a single crochet along. So single crochet into the second chain from hook. So you should have four stitches and you're going to then chain one and repeat that. And we'll be doing in total there should be about six rows so once you've done your six rows of single crochet you're going to chain one so you will chain one and then we're going to attach it to the edge so if your bag's facing the front of you you're going to turn it to the right unclip it and we're only going to be attaching to the bottom so we're going to slip stitch and we'll continue that along three edges until it's all been attached so we're going to do another slip stitch So once you've done one edge, you're going to repeat the exact same steps on the other side. So you're going to chain five, do six rows of single crochet, and then slip stitch onto the edge. To do the handle, we're going to do a slip knot and we're going to do a chain of 22. Once you've done your 22, we're going to single crochet across each stitch. So from the second chain, single crochet, and you're going to repeat this for five rows. done your five rows of single crochet we're going to fold the work in half chain one and you're now going to slip stitch together On the 11th slip stitch, we're going to insert our hook as normal, yarn over, pull through. Instead of doing a slip stitch, we're going to go into the next stitch, insert our hook, yarn over, pull through, 
we've now got three stitches we're going to pull through two we're going to pull through all three sorry pull your yarn tight and then continue slip stitch into the end When you reach the end, you're going to chain one and then just continue slip stitching to close the edge. And then on the other side, so on the other edge, you want to just sew along and that'll be the handle complete and now all we need to do is attach it okay so to attach the handle we're going to use our rings so i've already done this side so you want to attach it that like that like that and then you'll do the same with the handle which will attach the handle to each clip With the chain, if you want to attach it as it is, you just attach it to the rings. But what I'm going to do is use the yarn and just weave it in and out of the chain, just so that there's some of the color of the bag in the chain, but it's, ent it's entirely up to you what you do. Um, so I'll just go in and out each of the chains. It is a bit time consuming, but I do think it looks good. Just keep going in and out. And that is the finished bag. So I attached the chain to each end, same as the handle and the inside was like that. You can add a lining, but I've chosen not to just because I don't really think it needs one. It is very thick and that's it. <laughs>